fire poppies, they grow and they bloom all along where things have been burned. So um, when I'm thinking about the protests, like people see it as like chaotic, but like good things will come out of this, right? This is basically the whole image and we're putting it here. As you can probably see, it looks like this. So this is where the fire poppy is coming out of the flames. And those are going to be the characters. And all around it is going to be black. Portsmouth Square has always been the site of resistance and demonstration. Black Lives Matter has a lot to do with Chinatown because so many of the things that we have today, all the social services, the nonprofits that we have, wanting access to free health care, access to food, access to education, access to childcare. All of that has been inspired by black leadership in the civil rights movement by folks in the Black Panther Party. Dozens of people grabbed paintbrushes to support the Black Lives Matter movement in, in San Francisco's Chinatown. Chinatown. Juneteenth was commemorated with art, expression, and solidarity. The event was organized by the city's Chinese Cultural Center. They commissioned two artists to create bilingual murals in the square and provided supplies for others to join in. So if you guys like, you can also create your own mural also. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you. If you run out of paint, you can come back. Yeah, no worries. Okay, let's find that spot over here, guys. Here. Yeah. And you can start on this part here. And then Lala, you can start over here. I've never painted over pigeon poop. <laughs> Right now, we're in a very historic moment. Juneteenth in 2020, it's more significant this year because I think there's like a momentum, right? Like people are asking for like defunding of the police. People are asking for abolishment and people are learning more about racism. Like we can't just like turn a blind eye to it anymore. There also needs to be a lot of healing done between the Chinese and the black community to have more of a dialogue about trauma that each of our community have with each other. We're really advocating for Asian black solidarity. Our struggles are rooted in racism and discrimination and it's really important for the Asian community to show solidarity in this time. today is like to have a dialogue with the community and like to listen. Especially for artists to engage in, in this kind of activation within um, the Asian American community and an immigrant community because so many times our communities are cut out from those dialogues. It's not going to be overnight and just this art piece is not going to change like you know a whole community's mentality. When we talk about political education that has to be bilingual and it has to be accessible to our people too. And I just hope that in this moment, because people are understanding like the racism that came out of COVID-19, that they will understand like, this is just like a little bit of what's been happening for black folks for the past 400 years. It's kind of this somber moment of reflection to, to think about the processes of justice and what it takes for people to, um, to be free, for people to recognize that asking for that baseline piece of dignity. If Black Lives Matter, then that means that Black self-determination matters, that Black creativity and, and control of their own futures and education and matters. So I think it's essentially a, a fundamental argument for undoing of many social structures that have been built up around anti-Black racism and trying to chart a new path forward that is actively anti-racist and can and work in solidarity with the movement for Black Lives. The week when George Floyd had passed, there were a lot of young Chinese American activists who were out there like translating coverage around the protests. Protests for George Floyd, protests for Breonna Taylor, and so many other folks who've like lost their lives to police brutality. Um, and they gave him a Chinese name. And to see George Floyd being given a Chinese name was very significant because it means that um, he won't be forgotten, right, um, by Chinese 
people in America and that we are also like witnessing and seeing this moment here. The land of Castile, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Akai Gurley, Tamir Rice, Walter Scott, Freddie Gray, Sandra Bland, Samuel DeVos, Mario Woods, Ahmad Arbery, Brianna Taylor, Rayshard Brooks, George Floyd, Mario Woods, 